Hey everybody, it's Ryan with Cruising at the Coleman's and I've got a quick RV tip for you. Um, everybody's got these outdoor grills or the uh, griddles or whatever that is you're using to cook outside, but it's always such a pain if your RV, like our Apex, doesn't come with a propane line built in. Now the grill that our RV came with was a little Coleman camp stove. We used little green canisters. I hate those green canisters. They're just such a waste. So we, were, uh, we immediately upgraded to a propane grill. Problem then was I had to lug the propane tank out, hook it up, and that was just a big pain too. So we went to our local RV dealer and we had a propane line installed. There's a hub that runs underneath your RV. If you want to get really handy, you could do it yourself. But one of my rules is no projects that could end up with the RV blowing up. I'll pay somebody to do those kinds of things. So we had an RV line installed, or a propane line installed. And now the big advantage is I've got onboard propane in the back of my RV, right where I want to do my cooking in our living space. So all I have to do is take this propane hose that's got quick connects attached to it. It's really nice because I believe this is a 12 foot hose. So it gives me most of what I need. So all I have to do is reach down here and connect it. Come on over, Michelle. So the nice thing is when they installed this, they put it right here underneath this seam. So I don't have to crawl down on my hands and knees to find it. I just know that it's right here behind this and I can just reach down here, unhook the cover off of it. Take my male quick connect and just push this back, put that in, make sure that it's good and tight and then turn on my propane. Now, because I already turned on the propane over there, it's really important to make sure this side is turned off. Otherwise, propane would be skewing through my line. So, next thing I have to do is the same thing here. I installed a male quick connect onto my grill. I can come up to here, slide that into place, connect it, and then turn the gas on. And I should be ready to light. There it goes. By the way, the other thing I did, I bought a second one of these lines to give me an extra 12 feet. That way I can get 24 feet away from the RV. So if I wanted to move the grill further away, I could, but we also use that for our propane fire pit. So for safety, every time we're done grilling, I always like to make sure I shut this valve off. And I usually actually shut the one off under the RV also, just for safety. Don't like having that open propane line there in case something were to snap off or uh, somebody were to mess with. Now here's the best thing. When you're done cooking, done eating dinner, and it's time to light the campfire, I bought a second hose. Disconnect this. Run it over here. Connect it to my second hose. And it runs right over here to my propane grill. Then I also install a quick connect. Turn this one on, go back over here, turn this one on, let my lighter go. Uh oh. Don't worry, we're enjoying the view. Now, we can sit back and relax, enjoy a beautiful campfire tonight with a beautiful view. What do you guys think? <laughs>